My name is John Joseph, and I'm the director of the Chopper Football Academy. Uh, well, uh, we don't really have a, a, a division ready. It's um, right now. In, in what we're trying to do with, among the academy is more or less have exchange matches with the different academies so that the young kids can get an opportunity to um, have competition among their peers. Uh, well, I wouldn't really say competition. I, I would say more or less having fun because at that age group, especially age range from five to twelve. It's really just having having fun, letting them enjoy this this sport of football and and, and develop the, the fundamentals that we teach them in practice. So it's really just letting them have an opportunity to go out there and and have fun, have an opportunity to to, to participate in a, in a match against their, their peers. The older set is again is again to see what what we have um, taught them throughout the their practice sessions, whether they are um, putting into practice or not, and let us know exactly what um, their levels are, so what we really need to work on and so forth. So uh, it has been a it, it has been a, a, a good. Um, I think for us that we are able to, to exchange with different academies. Today we are in the Mao Academy and we are hoping that we can have a, a few different age group matches. We have kids from 5 up, up until 15. So we will have the under 15, then we will have under 13, and then under 10 and so forth. In, in football, in, 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 on, on the youth level, uh, on the academy level, I think a lot of the kids in Dominica, they, they, they enjoy playing football. They love playing football. And, and, and that is good because you don't have to really motivate them to come to practice. You will find that at practice sessions, you find most of the kids there. At times when, when, when we have those kind of outings, you find that they, they are very anxious to, to come out to play. Some of the kids, um, we were supposed to leave at 1.30 by 11. They were well dressed and waiting already because they're anxious, they want to play uh, and so forth. Um, football in general in Dominica, I think, um, <laughs> We have a, we have a lot to, to, to improve on in terms of our standard of play. Um, uh, in terms of um, the, 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 the facilities, I think the facilities to ignore the, the major hindrances to, to football development in Dominica. Because um, sometimes the playing first, um, um, facilities that we have, you don't find the, the, the players can really exhibit the kind of skills and, and so there because of the, of the different grounds and so. So that is one of the areas that we have to improve on. And again, the the, the the habit of practicing. You find that the older teams, right now the older, the older clubs, you don't find um, um, players coming to practice. And that's what we're trying to instill in the, in the younger um, children right now, that they need to practice. And then we try and have matches like this so that their self, they can continue to be um, motivated to continue to play. Well, sponsorship right now is, is, a, is a kind of a problem because you find that, especially as the economy is kind of slow, that you find that most of the businesses they already um, want to sponsor because in Dominica, uh, when you give a sponsorship as, as a company or, or, or business, you don't find that it's not really so much benefit that you're going to get out of it because um, you, you, you're just giving it, giving it to the kids. Whereas, I mean, in the other countries, you may find that for sponsorship, um, they, 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 they could use some of the players, the elite players, and so forth. In Dominica, when you give a sponsorship, you just um, participate in community development and so on. That's one of the last things that companies try, uh, are doing right now in Dominica, which I think is, a, is, is, is not a really a good thing. Um, you still find a few of them who are, are giving sponsorships. I must commend them um, companies like Domlec, um, the NCCU, and so forth. They have been in the forefront in, in, in assisting um, um, sporting academies and so in Dominica. You have Digicel also, Cable, cable um, Line um, also. So you have a few companies who are doing it, but a lot more need to come on board. And even people within the local community. I mean, it may not be large contributions, but if you have an academy in a community like Trafalgar, for example, if, if you know, everybody comes together and say, okay, at the end of the month, I can only sponsor $20, then that will go a long way in helping. Because as you see, the kids need a lot. Sometimes, uh, most of the time, the kids cannot afford a, a, a boots or, or, or something like that, and then it falls back on us in the academy to, to do it. And we don't have much um, means of raising funds. So most of the time, we, we come back on the coaches to really dig in their pockets and give out to the kids. Um, football is, a, is a, fantastic, a fantastic thing to do. I mean, um, if you're talking about um, um, obesity and, and, and NCDs, or um, right now where people um, have diabetes, high blood pressure, and you're trying to prevent those things, there. right now is the, is the ideal time to get your children involved in sports, get them active right now instead of staying on doing video games and things like that get them active, let them do some physicals and so. That helps them not only um, physically but also mentally in the, in the, in the schoolwork. Because when you, when you do um, physical work and so it also helps you with your, with your schoolwork. Uh, and right now in football and, and in sports in general, there's a lot of opportunities, opportunities that was not there before. There are a lot of opportunities for, for young people coming up who have the talent. 
that um, we find scouts coming out more often right now to look at places like in the Caribbean, Dominica, where they, that wouldn't happen a, a few years ago. Right now it's happening where people are coming or looking at, at talent and local talent and so on. They have opportunities for scholarships and so forth. So it's, the, now is the opportune time for anybody that wants to get their children into sports. And I would encourage anybody to get their children into, into football. I'm the college of the um, St. Paul's Football Academy. And we have been going for like five years now. No, three years now we have been running. And so far it has been okay, you know, it's just that maybe we need a little more support from the parents and a few, um, I would say, a few stakeholders come on board and help, you know, for his children and as a future. But so far it's been good, you know, we have been having exchanges with um, the other academies. Like this morning we had the Newton Football Academy coming over and this afternoon we have the Trafalgar Football Academy and we have the Newton. That's the thing we have going between the coaches, the academy coaches. So we try to see if we could just keep the kids together and be for the future of the Jamaica football. Sports is, I mean, everybody knows what sports do in life, you know, it's keep people together, bring people together, make, let them make new friends, you know, so it's not a bad thing. I played football for the Dominican national team for um, like 18 years of service and to me that's a way of giving back, giving back to the youth, you know, the, I think of it like keeping a few children away from drugs, you know, and violence and basically that's it, you know, it's just that we would like a little bit more, more support from the parents, you know, come on board and help, you know, and have maybe a few senior footballers, past footballers, come on board and give us a little help out, you know. Since we started, we only had one sponsor. We had a few sponsors like Petro Carib sponsors only once, and um, Petro Carib and Signman. Signman has been playing his part. Signman is a former FIFA referee. Everybody knows him very well in Dominica, you know. But for the past time, we haven't. I've been writing letters to different, different institutions to see if we can get support and sponsors but some responding some not responding you know so we basically just trying to support our academy by the children paying their fees yeah we, we that's what really that's what really maintaining us right now the academy to be honest with you this is like a contribution you understand because as I said that we sponsors like most sponsors they, 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 they say that they don't have money or they don't have you know so it's like the $10, we collect it and we, we take care of ourselves, like we need a, a football, we need a marker, a phone, we buy it to be, we buy it to be um, the money and that's basically it. So for the past maybe year and a half, that's what really have the academy going, the fees the children pay and I mean it's difficult on some parents even like $10, some parents don't pay $10 a month. You understand? But those that pay, we keep going. I would just like to say, you know, like to the youth, you know, football is a very good sport. I mean, it, it, made, me, it made me who I am today. It made me who I am today. And I mean, football do a lot for your life, honestly. It do a lot. Because maybe it was about football, I maybe would be somebody on the street. I maybe be, um, you know, doing things I'm not supposed to be doing. And football keeps me steady in life. Honestly.